2002 was a girthy year for gaming. We had legendary titles like Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, Vice City, and Elder Scrolls Morrowind all being released that year. All of these games raised the bar for gaming and were masterpieces in their genre, but today we are not talking about those games. We're talking about Hooters, the video game. Ladies and gentlemen, Hooters Road Trip is an interesting game. Not because it's good, because it is fucking not. <laughs> but the presentation is so far out that it is at least a little bit entertaining. So yeah, it's a Hooters branded PS1 racing game where you drive from one capital city to the next in a kind of relay race. And you unlock more tracks and cars as you go. Now if you're wondering where all the Hooters branding is in all this, don't worry because as soon as you reach a new city, you get get reminded of it by one of these. Hey there, welcome to Jacksonville. This is the best part of this game. I'm serious, it's all downhill from here. Yeah, so each time you reach a new city, they play one of these videos, and when you finish the race, they give you a nice, a nice little reward, I guess. Woo! You came in second place! Like I said, the so bad it's mediocre videos are the best part of this game, and it's actually kind of a shame that the gameplay is terrible, because the game looks pretty good, considering the console it was on, and the physics of the cars themselves are actually kind of satisfying. I'm saying that with a question mark, which is probably concerning and not a good sign, but I'm still gonna say it. The main issue with the game is that all the races go pretty much the same way. Either you get in front and have no competition, or the car in first place just zooms off and you will literally never see it again. It's genuinely like this every time, so it can look really cool in the beginning, and then in the next three minutes you just sit there and you're in traffic by yourself. It's like commuting to work, albeit with really good music, which is probably one of the best things this game has. It's also the kind of music that definitely tells you the kind of demographic they were trying to get to with this game, you know, their target audience. <laughs> God damn that music, boy. Really makes you think about banging your sister, brother, I'll tell you what. <laughs> It is also important to keep in mind that the PS2 was already out and delivering incredible experiences at the time of this game's release. This is an outdated game for a less capable console, and it's a little bit confusing. As a matter of fact, there's a lot that's just off with this game. Outside of the videos that play at the end of races, there are zero references to Hooters. No billboards, no logos on the cars, hell, even some of the loading screens are just like, yup, that's, uh, that's a woman right there. and she seems like she might be a bit cold. It's almost like this whole women we appreciate for their intelligence thing was just kind of tacked on as an afterthought. And that's because it was. See, this game was originally named Freewheelin' USA, which is exactly the kind of forgettable title this game deserves, but it seems like the developers realized they created a forgettable experience and figured, well, uh, your boobs. And they also must have had a connection to someone in Hooters, I guess? Crazy thing is, it worked, because I and nobody else would ever speak of this game if it weren't for the sheer absurdity of its existence. Again, if the title of the video was Devs Made a Mediocre Game, nobody would care and would probably just think I was talking about EA. By the way, they wouldn't be that far off because Ubisoft published this. Yeah, I have no answers for that, but I mean, at least it's still more memorable than AC Mirage, because because that was... I love Assassin's Creed, okay? Even the bad ones, but that was just, oh my god. Anyway, if it wasn't clear, this game sucks more than a predator on a playground, and you should not play it. If you want a good PS2 game, get Gran Turismo 2 or Lego Island because this ain't it. Zero out of 10, and please don't be mad at me. I promise I'm working on a video for the main channel. You have no idea how gay Viri is. I have gay moms and he's gayer than they both are combined. He learned where the male G-spot is and couldn't handle it. I didn't want to. <laughs> uh, that sounds so much worse, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh,